Hello, this is Ian Lamont, author of the Lean Media book blog and video channel available from leanmedia.org, and today I'm going to be talking about restock limits on Amazon FBA. If this video helps you, please take a moment to like it and subscribe to my channel. And disclaimer, you're responsible for following relevant terms, and what you see may be different than what I am about to show you. And this is a big deal right now in Amazon land. And basically what's happening is Amazon is limiting the amounts of items you can send into its fulfillment centers. And this is bad news, particularly right before uh, a holiday season, when usually we need to send in like thousands of items and they're not letting us do that anymore. Uh, basically, I think they're trying to reduce the amount of stuff that doesn't sell that well. They're trying to um, keep things flowing more smoothly and not bogging down the fulfillment centers. And uh, as usual, Amazon third-party sellers have to pay the price for that. So go to your Amazon Seller Center central page, um, go to inventory, go to inventory planning. And this is how you see the restock limits. Um, first of all, they, they'll have they'll have all of these things on the inventory dashboard. What you want is restock inventory. And then I don't know if you see this at the bottom of the page. I didn't notice it at first. It says restock limits, lower left corner. Click on that. Okay. So um, the number that I always pay attention to is maximum shipment quantity. It's at the very bottom. It says I can send in 501 units. It also shows my utilization quantities and all that other stuff. Um, note that they break it up by different types of items. So this is standard size items, oversize, uh, apparel, and footwear. So, of course, in, for my brand, I don't sell shoes or clothing or oversized items. So everything falls under here, and it's really, this is really limiting. This is actually a problem, and what we're doing to manage that, uh, and this is probably what Amazon wants, by the way, is we're limiting the am amount of low-cost, low-margin stuff that we send in there, and we're turning that type of thing into FBM, fulfilled by merchant. So FBA stuff is now more expensive stuff. FBM is now our cheaper stuff, and we do this so we can send in more expensive stuff to Amazon and have them take care of the shipping for us, and uh, as well. And the other thing, other advantage here is that it shows up as Amazon Prime. For more information on how to get the most out of Amazon FBA, FBM advertising, KDP advantage, transparency, I've made all of these videos about it. Uh, you can go to our YouTube channel and follow us, or you can go to leanmedia.org, click on video, and then you can find the YouTube channel here. And then also I talk about the Lean Media framework, which I created a few years back. This is Ian Lamont. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you later.